Hello everyone, it's me Ellie from XExpress Themes. Today in this video tutorial of XExpress Pro, I'm going to show you how you can add uh, short codes on the page you're working on and change the layout. So this is a demo site of XExpress Pro. Here you can see we have offered you some of the short code. This defines your uh, page layout and uh, the elements that you can add on those pages. So to make it more clear, let's go to the WordPress dashboard. Let's create a new page. Here goes your short code. And you can find the button here that is short code. Well, with this, you can change the layout of the page and with this element, you can add elements on your page. So let's start with the layout changing. Let's go for grid. Well, you can add a number of columns that you want to show on your, uh, on your page. So I'm going to select three columns to show on my page. And you can select the column width, each column's width. So I have selected three columns, so I'm selecting the three columns width. Now this is the area where you can add, sorry. Now this is the area where you can add your uh, text or any contents, like you can add uh, pictures or anything like that. So I'm going to take a dummy content from here, just copying it and paste it there. I'm going to do the same with all the three columns. Now that I have put the short code here, let's publish it. Now your page is published and to show it on the menu header, let's go to appearance, the menu. You can see the page we created is sample page 1, 2. Just check it and add to menu. Now save your option from here. So make sure you check this primary menu button and save it. And let's go to the front end of our website to preview the changes we made. As you can see, your contents are in the grid form of three columns. So you can do other changes in this page too with other short codes. Let's go back to the page we created. This sample page one two. Let's edit it. Now let's find other short codes that we can enter here. The second one is divider. It's basically a divider line uh, which appears on the page to divide your contents. So this is the border color, the color of the divider. Well, you can select any color from this website that is htmlcolorcodes.info. You can select any color from here. Well, uh, to show you, I'm going to select, yeah, this one. Copy the code and simply paste it there. Now you can uh, select a border style, solid, dash, dotted, or double. Let's keep it solid. And you can uh, add uh, the border thickness. It's right now it's one. To make it make you more clear, let's put ten pixel. And other setting that is border width, top spacing, bottom spacing, and click on OK. Now update the page. Let's go back to the front end, and let's preview your change. As you can see here, you will see a border divider. So along with this divider, you can have other, sorry, other changes on your website. I'm sorry, page. That is the spacing. 
you can add some space right now it's 10 so we have 20 and update it let's go back to the front end as you can see you can get some space before starting your content so this is all about the layout short codes that you can use that is the grid the divider and the spacing so about the element short code i'll be explaining you in the next video thank you very much